Welcome here live broadcast from the Major TV studio. The subject of this live is I played the Glen Gould's piano. And yes, I did. But before to tell you my story, I would love to tell you the story of the Glen Gould's piano. The first piano owned by a very young Glen Gould was a Dominion, an upright piano. And this piano was located at Southwood Drive 32, where Glenn lived. Now, this beautiful piano is owned by the Glen Gold Foundation, donated by two sisters, Susan and Peter. They donated the piano because it was gold that donated to Susan the piano in 1955. And it was a beautiful sign dedication inside the piano. And I suggest you to watch the video at www.glengold.ca. If you read the article, you can see the two sisters shared a lot of great memories of their childhood at the cottage with Glen. They remember Miss Gold say to Glen, don't hum at the table and sit up straight. And Rainer told this to Brian Levin during the interview. A minute later, <laughs> it'd be humming again and it's tapping its finger again. So it's very funny memories and I suggest you to read it. And now I would love to play for you guys a, a piece from the Goldberg Variations. But the real Glen Gould's affair with the piano was with the Chick Ring, an American grand piano. And this piano is very well documented. Glen Gould loved his light tone, especially for the music of Bach. And uh, it had been long true that Glen Gould's nostalgia for his chickering was because it had been his boyhood piano, but recently discovered documents show almost certainly that Gold acquired the piano only after the time he became a recording artist. If you want to take a look of the chickering, I suggest you to watch on and off the records. The Chickering was restored in 1999 and now is located at CBC Glen Gold Studio and I see it. <music> Another piano owned by Glenn Gold was the Stanway CD318. This piano accompanied Glenn for all 
almost part of his career, and he discovered this piano at Eaton's Auditorium. This piano was used and abused, and the artist was not so happy to play it when they came at Eaton's Auditorium, but when Glenn discovered it, he felt in love with this piano. At the beginning, he called Vern Edwist for a tune it, and uh, he was his traveling companion as his chair. But in 1971, it made uh, an accident um, during uh, a travel for a concert at Cleveland Orchestra. And at the last minute, the piano fell off of the truck and then Glenn had to cancel the concert. He says he claiming to have a cold. So the CD 318 took him back at Eton's auditorium and of course uh, Glenn called and recalled for Vern at least to tune it again. But the cast iron plate was cracked. So something was terribly wrong the piano had been dropped. So Glenn was heartbroken. It was a disaster and spent a decade in fruitless attempt to restore the CD 318, its former glory. But there was nothing to do and um, Glenn was resigned to say that CD was una unable to play it again. Edwist spent a lot of hours for fixing the damage. The closest I ever came to quitting, he later says. So he recording a lot of beautiful music on the CD 318 standway. And then he passed to another piano for recording his last famous record. On the CD 318 Stanway, Glenn Gould recorded his famous first recording, the Goldberg Variation. And now this piano is located in Ottawa. It was a great emotion to play the Yamaha CF2. I was privileged to play it. This piano was uh, restored recently and um, it was magical. What I can say, I, I perceived the Glenn Gould energy. I felt him and uh, yes, it was a very different piano. I never played a piano 
with these light keys. Um, when you play faster, it responds at your fingertip uh, very quickly. And um, now this piano is located in a beautiful location in the downtown district, right Thompson Hall. Uh, and you know, it was magical. Um, some great artists play it and well, I'm one of them. <laughs> it's not a secret now, I'm so happy. And uh, the most beautiful thing that I thought was, um, I'm so happy to share with you guys the legacy of one of the most amazing artists of the 20th century, one of the purest men that we have. And, um, well, <laughs> I was so, I'm so excited right now. I'm so happy. I'm so happy to share with you and uh, watch the video and um, see you soon on the Major TV. Thank you for watching. Bye.